into this meeting of the Community and Culture Committee. Uh, for the 14th of August, we have uh, a delegation presenting to us as part of our public forum, and apologies, I didn't get the chance to welcome you in advance of the meeting, but uh, Rosemary and Alex, uh, welcome. <coughs> Speaking to um, the papers on Cozy Homes Trust funding, you have uh, five minutes of our time if you need it. Thank you. Starting from now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, kia ora koutou katoa. My name's Alex and I've just been involved with 350 Dunedin and Oil Free Targo for uh, the last year or so and I uh, have been involved in a number of community initiatives and stuff as well, so that's sort of the uh, perspective that I'm coming from. And okay. uh, do we need to be up close to these? Yes. Sure, okay, thank you. I think, thank you, my name is Rosemary Penwarden. Um I've been involved in Oil Free Otago and 350 Dunedin for a little while. I just dragged Alex away from building an electric car down in Northeast Valley. Um, he's a great enthusiast of non-fossil fuel transport. Uh, I think I'll leave it to Alex to tell you why we're here. Thanks. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, first up, thanks for the opportunity to speak and be heard. Um, and I'd just like to tell you about 350 Dunedin and our current focus on the Cozy Homes Trust, of which the DCC is a big supporter and sponsor. Um, and we love the work of the Cozy Homes Trust. Um, what it does is bring warm and healthy homes to our city and region. Um, warm, safe housing is an essential part of the low emissions future that we're wor working towards. And so, yeah, the, the whole uh, ethos behind it is awesome. Uh, 350 Dunedin, uh, of which we're a part of, is part of 350.org, a growing climate movement active in 188 countries. The organisation name relates to the scientific calculation that a stable climate exists at an at atmospheric concentration of 350 parts per million of carbon dioxide. Um, we have now reached over 400 parts per million, so we're not in that safe zone anymore. Uh, climate change is huge, as you're all aware, I'm sure. It spans the environment, the economy and social justice. We feel a moral duty to do what we can to lessen the impacts of worldwide climate breakdown, now evident in almost every news report. Individually, we can do plenty to lower our emissions, but when we exercise our collective democratic rights as a committed movement of people, we have the power to change the course of injustice and inequality and protect <coughs> and produce a livable future for our kids. In Aotearoa, 350 has mainly worked on encouraging banks, councils and other institutions to remove their money from the fossil fuel industry. This council and the University of Otago have both divested from fossil fuels and that's something that we're really happy to, uh, to see happen. Um, but we must go further than this uh, and we're calling for organisations like the Cozy Homes Trust to say no to any further funding from the fossil fuel industry. In, the case, uh, or yeah, in this case, New Zealand Oil and Gas New Zealand oil and gas plan to drill in the Canterbury and the Great South Basins in the near future. And we know that most of the oil and gas that companies like these have on their balance sheets, or well, they, they know that it cannot be burned um, if we're to relain, retain a livable climate. Uh, their business case, if we allow them to continue, will destroy the only planet we have. By saying no to New Zealand oil and gas, we can revoke their social licence here in Aotearoa, Dunedin. We don't want their dirty energy um, and just the prospect of having a local renewable energy business taking the place of New Zealand oil and gas as a third party funder for uh, Cozy Homes, the Cozy Homes Trust uh, would be fantastic. Uh, in a global context, cities around the world are stepping up to revoke the licence of this industry. Earlier this year, San Francisco and Oakland filed suits against five fossil fuel, fuel companies, including Chevron and Exxon Mobil, uh, in an effort to render them financially responsible for the damages caused by climate change and to their infrastructure, uh, <coughs> as well as the necess uh, necessity to, oh, sorry, 
uh, the damages caused by climate change and the infrastructure like seawalls to resist it. Even though a federal judge threw out the case, the West, case, the West Coast cities are showing up big oil. They, along with Seattle and Portland, top the list of a new ranking of the 40 most sustainably powered cities in the US. Um, we'd love to work alongside the DCC uh, and put it up, put Dunedin up there with San Francisco and Seattle uh, for this sort of sustainable uh, ethos. Uh, finally, on September 8th, just before the Global, Global Climate Action Summit in San Francisco on the 12th to the 14th of September, Rise for Climate events will be held in cities, towns and villages all over the world in a show of people power. We will no longer stand by while fossil fuel companies continue to profit at the expense of our future. And we are planning to uh, have a Rise event here in Dunedin and uh, you, yeah, you'll know a bit more about that shortly. I'm sure. Um, and if there's time for questions, um, yeah. Yeah, if you're, well, if you're happy to take to questions. Uh, in the first instance, I thought it might be helpful if the chair of the trust um, wanted to give some background on where the history of where that money came from. I, my understanding it was a, it was a multi-year funding that has come to an end, but I could be wrong. New Zealand Oil and Gas um, made it clear to the Dunedin community that it was um, wanting to contribute in various areas in the Dunedin community. Uh, a number of, uh, we understood that a number of, that the money was going to come to the Dunedin community. A number of um, organisations put their hand up. Uh, among them, uh, we, no, we didn't put a hand up. Cozy Homes Trust didn't ask for it. It was suggested that they come to us. The money has been provided for three consecutive years. We know there's no forward um, pro promise of more. But more importantly, it's where the money is used for, where money is used. It is not used to run Cozy Homes Trust. It entirely goes into putting insulation in the ceilings of low-income houses. So uh, we could give it back. No, it would just mean that a whole lot of houses occupied by low-income people in Dunedin would not be insulated and their kids would be damper and cooler and colder as a result. That's where what the money is used for and that's where we get it for. Yeah, that, thank you. Thanks thank for you. That. Um, questions? Could I respond to that? Uh, it's probably easier if we focus sure. it on questions okay. from councillors. Okay. Uh, anybody? No? Thank you for coming. I appreciate your time and your energy. I can let you get back to your EV construction. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to say that we do not want to stop the Cozy Homes Trust doing their work. And um, we think another company that, w that was not affiliated with the fossil fuel industry could step in and do that, do that work. We, we would love to see um, New Zealand Oil and Gas taken off the Cozy Homes Trust website. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sure the Trust would welcome any suggestions you could put them in touch with as to where that money might come from as far as alternative sources go. Um, Thank you. That brings us to the meeting proper. We